Today I'm going to teach you a really unusual skill that I learned from a friend a couple years ago. And that's how to start a fire with, no kidding, your cell phone, a Brillo pad, and whatever you can find for Tinder. So the first step is easy. Take your phone, take the battery out of the phone, then find the positive and negative contact points on the base of the battery. Step two, Brillo pad. Well, all you need, just standard Brillo pad, and then tear off a chunk, and then what you're gonna wind up with, once you sort of roll it up, is about an inch, inch and a half long, just long enough uh, to bend over like a paper clip. Okay, so step three is the crux of this whole operation. You've got your battery, and you've got your steel wool. Now you're gonna to touch the steel wool, either end of it, to the positive and negative contact points on the battery, and what that's gonna do is create a short, you're gonna start see the steel will start to smolder. When you get a good smolder, that's when you're gonna to go to your step four, lighting the tinder. Okay, so we're on to step four. This is a critical part, actually getting the steel wool to light the tinder. Now, I really like this tinder called wet fire. It's waterproof tinder, which means you can light it in the rain. You can even throw it in the lake after it's lit and it'll continue burning. So what I'm doing here is shaving a little bit off so I've got small pieces to try to catch a spark. Keep in mind, this is kind of the equivalent of rubbing sticks together. It can be hit or miss, it can take a long time, so don't get frustrated if it doesn't go right away. And also remember, you're probably in an emergency situation, a real survival situation if you have to use this, so stick to it. All right, next up, I'm gonna show you how to cook a goose. 